the industries we serve have always been at the forefront of technological advancements. Yet, the integration of AI marks a new era of innovation and efficiency. In this podcast, we shed light on how using AI as a tool is enhancing our work while continuing to maintain the high level of expertise and creativity that our clients have come to expect. Let's begin the podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. I'm Janice Kleins, Marketing Manager for AOE, and today we are talking about how AOE is utilizing AI. Joining me today is Laura Merritt, Senior Marketing Manager for AOE. She's also AI certified by the Marketing AI Institute. Also joining me is Kimberly Kaler, President for AOE. Welcome, Laura and Kimberly. Thanks, Janice. Janice. So before we start, let's get the AI disclaimer out of the way. How is AOE using AI? Well, thank you for that question, Janice. I think the first thing I'd like to talk about is actually how AOE is not using AI and get that right on the table to begin with, which is we are not using AI simply to do our jobs. Um, We're a team of journalists and professional marketers, and we take a lot of pride in our craft where we are employing AI and we've worked really diligently over the last year to find the best way to do this is to assist us with brainstorming, with outlining during the research component of the work we do. Um, We don't use it to replace our expertise. We don't use it to create you know, the strategic part of, of our craft and what we do or the journalistic writing. So for example, we use A in market research, which really helps us to be more targeted in our marketing campaigns. AI has been very effective for us with data analysis. Um, It's become a very valuable asset asset in a lot of different ways with some of like the meticulous, just pulling information together. And this integration allows us to just be better at our craft. Okay, thanks Kimberly for clearing that up for us. Um, So tell our audience about Jasper and why AOE has partnered with them. Well, I think I can answer that. Um, Jasper is is a cutting edge AI platform, and it specializes in content generation, idea development, and data analysis. Um, We've chosen to partner with Jasper because we recognize the value it offers in enhancing the quality and efficiency of our services. Um, As Kimberly mentioned, with Jasper, we're able to brainstorm, outline, and even conduct research at a much faster pace. Uh, That frees up our time to focus on the strategic and creative aspects of our work. Um, The partnership also allows us to deliver highly targeted and personalized marketing campaigns that resonate with our clients' audiences. And that ensures that we stay ahead in in the rapidly evolving market. Okay, so tell our audience how AOE is integrating AI to serve our clients. Well, we start first whenever we do a project, um, you know, now using AI, no different than we did before AI, which is make sure that we understand target audiences, key messages, um, you know, with an eye towards strategy and what we're actually trying to accomplish there. And then we can plug AI in to actually help us with the research part. Already mentioned that, you know, data analytics is a really key area. Um, AI also allows us to very efficiently come manage idea generation. It allows us to analyze vast amounts of data, um, identify trends, generate innovative concepts um, that may not be immediately obvious. One of the questions that may be popping into your mind now is, you know, hey, I've heard that, you know, the, the, the articles that are sourced sometimes are made up, et cetera. Very important to understand that we're really diligent about the content that is presented through AI, and we build our own knowledge base um, in terms of the content that it's reading from. So it does allow us to make our make more um, productive decisions as well as uh, pull content together in a more efficient manner. Okay, so big question out there. Um, If AI can do all this, why do we need AOE? So we need AOE because, and I appreciate the question, 
because we're, we're again, we're not being replaced by, by AI. There's a lot of AI tools that are out there. Maybe you and your team have even started to play with them, but um, they're not all created equal. And we need to make sure that anytime you are using AI, you are not replacing the process that I mentioned with the understanding your target audiences, your key messages. Um, I'll ask Laura to talk a little bit more about this in a second, but what's really key with the platform we use, Jasper, is that we actually train Jasper based on our industry, based on our clients, their brand, their personality, their preferences. So there's a lot of work that is put in by AOE to make sure that AI effectively works to help with the final product. Um, you know, if you just jump on chat GPT, GPT, you may or may not get good results, um, but you know, the same things you turn to AOE for right now, the, the strategic mindset, understanding the industries you serve, developing the marketing campaigns, understanding your target audiences and identifying those key messages, that still is part of it. AI can't do that unless a human guides it with that part of it. Laura, do you want to comment as well just a little bit more about how Jasper pulls in and in, in, into this equation? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's one of the things I really love about Jasper is the ability to really um, personalize the content. And we do this by uh, telling Jasper what voice we're using for the for the content. So for example, um, if we are doing something for a client, we would use the client's voice to ensure that the content generated really follows the same um, style as the client. Uh, we also... Which, can I interrupt you for a second, Laura? Sure. On that? I like that what Kim really said just a little bit ago about you need a human to guide you on that. So you need a human to know what the voice of the client is and right. put that into Jasper. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, absolutely. Gotcha. Um, additionally, we uh, will provide Jasper which with knowledge items, as we call them, and these are... Um, previously generated content. It could be a website. It could be a video. It could be a number of things, but we actually take that information, load that in to Jasper and say, build this new content using these basically to give Jasper an idea of the style we want, the tone we want, those sorts of things. And as Kimberly mentioned in some of the previous, or, you know, in some of the other AI tools that we've previously used and, you know, not to disrespect them, but they're very generic often and they don't really give you that option or you really have to um, take it to that next level when you're entering your request uh, for content. You have to really spell out everything you want. Jasper asks you. So okay. would you like to add a voice? Would you like to add more information about this client? So uh, I really love that capability. But as you said, Janice, it's something that it's still reliant on us, the humans, right. to well, actually we have to know load what that. Our, we have to know what our client's voice is. And Jasper Absolutely. or any of these other AI technologies don't know that if, you know, they don't have the right. personalized right. relationship. That you're absolutely right. It, it is very dependent on our uh, understanding of our clients, their their you know core values, their needs, their mission, those things that you know don't just come automatically uh, or naturally for AI. So it's really important to again have that human touch, and and also uh, the human touch that has the knowledge. Uh, that we have of our clients. So um, that kind of leads to, you know, a little more about why not use somebody else, uh, you know, within the organization. And and I don't know, Janice, if you had a question about that. Well, I do. That, that kind of cues me up for my next question. You know, with this new technology, it can be difficult for, you know, people to figure it out. So most would have, you know, a quote intern figure it out. Why can't organizations just leave this up to an intern? Sure. And, you know, you know, in, intern, 
interns are certainly very valuable to an organization, um, but relying on them to generate content using th this technology like AI, um, it can fall short because they don't, again, they don't have that deep understanding or strategic insights needed to align uh, the content with your business goals um, and your brand voice. Again, going back to, you know, the relationships that we have with our clients and our ability to really dive deep into what is, you know, their goals are, what's driving their organization. So um, that's something typically an intern, at least right out of the gate, does not have. It does seem like it's a, a great, you know, a quick fix, mm -hmm. um, but it's really in the long run, it's probably not the the best route to take. Um, these Laura, tools, can, I, can I add yeah. a comment here? So I see a real parallel with this discussion with when social media came into play. And so many organizations came to, you know, AOE for their PR and their marketing efforts. And then when social media came about, oh, it was a scary technology that just the young people did. So the answer was just to hire an intern or have an intern do it because they were already right. doing it. Right. And we quickly learned, we meaning our, our, our clients, um, they quickly shared with us that it didn't work well because their interns didn't necessarily, or quote the, the, the young people, didn't necessarily know the industry or didn't know their, again, key messages, target audiences, those things that I always harp on quite a bit. So um, there was a lot of lessons learned with that. And the same parallel I think happens here with AI. This is the next evolution of technology, how it, it is employed from a marketing standpoint. And to Laura's point, um, you know, no offense to interns. I'm sure there's some awesome interns out there that would do a really great job with AI. Um, same with young people. We have young people. We need young people um, in, in our industry. But we need to make sure that there's still a connection to the greater overall strategy and the messaging, um, you know, not just making technology somebody else's problem. Yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely. And, you know, as you were talking about, Kimberly, and we saw with social media, um, when you have someone coming in new uh, who doesn't really have that uh, background, that experience, um, they may miss those nuances. Um, they may miss those, uh, you know, errors that AI can make and does make. Um, and so that's why it's really important to have that experienced group like AOE um, to come in and make sure that the information is not only accurate, very important, of course, but also tailored to your, you know, the specific needs and the industry standards uh, for the clients. So um, another thing I'd like to just add, um, quality assurance is also really critical. And that, uh, and, and by that, we mean that uh, rigorous review processes um, where we check that accuracy, check the relevance and the context. Um, this is something, uh, I, again, going back to uh, an intern, somebody new to the organization, not very experienced, they may not have that review process in place and really understand exactly the, the steps they need to take to ensure the content is accurate, relevant. My next question is, um, you know, you talked about processes and, and all that and reviews. So what, what would a typical project look like um, that AOE would use AI for? Well, I'll start and then I'll kick it over to Laura because I'm sure she can add um, with her experience using the platform quite a, quite a bit of um, context here. But we start again by looking at what the client is trying to accomplish. And then we look at their brand and we look at their existing assets. So because we train the tool that we are using, we set up a style guide brand. We upload examples of past case studies, PowerPoint presentations, um, tech data sheets, newsletters, et cetera. So we train Jasper on that client, their voice, their key messages, all of those things. So that actually takes quite a bit of time. And that may be a question you have is, oh, gee, if it, you know, AOE is using AI, you know, must you must cut the workload in half. Are you, you know, only going to charge us half now? Um, 
we have found some time savings and efficiency, but we actually spend a lot of time making sure that we train the tool and we get it right. So it doesn't just, you know, spit things out and, and shave the time as you would think. So back to the example, once we've set up the content, the knowledge center, which is what it's referred to, we then are able to work with the Jasper AI tool to actually zero in on what it is that we're looking for, maybe pull outside research and start to develop, um, you know, whether it's a blog piece or whether it's, um, you know, a an article or, you know, some sort of other campaign. And there's a lot of back and forth that goes. You don't just hit, you know, spit it out, please, and it gives you something. Um, we we go back and forth quite a bit with the tool. Hey, we need more content here. Pull research in here. We need to add more from the knowledge center here. So it's a very interactive process. It's not push a button, walk away 15 seconds later, Jasper hands something out to you. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's like having a, a buddy, if you will, helping you with the project to make sure that it's as efficient and on target as possible. And Laura, I, I know you have more experience than me, so I'd love for you to fill in the gaps here of what I just missed. Well, I mean, I think you covered so much of it, but I mean, I can give you an example of something um, that I was able to do recently. Um, I had a client uh, ask me, we had, you know, basically provided a, a blog post to them, which they really liked, but they decided they wanted some third party um, quotes inserted throughout the blog post on the topic. Uh, and so I typically would go to Google, which, by the way, also uses AI. Um, but I decided, OK, I'm going to ask Jasper, identify, do some research, pull some quotes from different articles within this time frame. I was only looking for 2024 and provide the sources and the links so I could go in again, going back to that, you know, verifying. And, and making sure that the information was accurate. And I was able to do that in a matter of minutes and generated some, some great third-party quotes. So again, this is something, uh, you know, historically, yes, I would go to Google. I might or might not have as much success, but Jasper was able to pull that information for, for me very quickly. And I was able to incorporate that into the blog post. Um, Another uh, example we've done is I met with a client talking about an upcoming meeting and it was a brainstorming session. I, I wanted to build out on that. So I took the information and, and uh, from the call and I uh, asked Jasper, help me build out on some of these ideas and give me some new ones. And so it was able to spit out uh, you know, s some more detail for those we had come up with. And also threw in some new ones that we hadn't thought of on the call. And so we were able to go back and, and really kind of flesh those out some more. So it's really great at researching. Um, it's great at brainstorming. I've used it for outlining campaigns. Um, again, though, have to go back to, as with any AI tool, uh, you know, as much as you know, Jasper's terrific, as with any AI tool, a human being has to review it and we're going to ultimately be uh, doing some tweaking, if you will, to make sure that it is, you know, aligning with our, our goals and our clients' goals. Okay, sounds like a. I mean, it. it, it I've used it um, a few times myself, and it's it's a very specialized tool. Yeah. Um, so my last question, and I know you've touched on how you know things we've done for clients. Um, but tell, if you have anything, tell our audience the benefits of partnering with AOE when integrating AI into your business processes. So the benefits of partnering with AOE related to AI, um, I think I answered the question, um, same whether or not you're talking about AI, AI or not, which is when you partner with AOE, we are an extension of your business, of your team. We understand, um, we do a deep dive, we become your partner, we learn the challenges you're having, um, you know, who you're trying to reach. 
what messages are resonating and what maybe is not working. And we spend time with you. We don't just give you cookie cutter solutions of do this, do this, do this. We really understand your business and become an extension of that and have a vested interest in in seeing you succeed. So AI has become another tool to help us be efficient in terms of how we're pulling things together. But it doesn't replace us in any way. Um, It doesn't, you know, yes, maybe it saves us a little bit of time. And Laura and I have talked quite a bit about this. I'm not sure if it really saves us all that much time or if it just makes our product that much better. Um, and that's what I'm what I have learned um, is that we're able to do even a better job. But again, that's because we've Jasper's become an extension of our team and we've got this back and forth as we just continue to build and build and build and build. Um, you know, so to all of you listening, you know, if you have any interest at all in playing with AI at all, we'd love to actually do a pilot project for you, show you what it can do, partner with you on it. Um, it doesn't have to be scary. Um, we've spent a lot of time getting people certified and understanding AI and then really committing to this tool so that we can continue to um, improve our service and continue to provide just um you know, what we believe the market needs. So Laura, anything you want to add as a final wrap up? Yeah, I think I would just like to say, you know, AI is not a fad. Uh, It is not going to go away. Uh, And, you know, I'm particularly proud that our organization has basically been, you know, I would almost say at the forefront within the industry uh, as far as, really embracing the idea of AI and its capabilities while also recognizing that there are potential risks. And that's why AI, uh, it's a great tool, but it has to be handled by human beings who have an understanding of what its capabilities and its limitations are. Gotcha. Well, thank you both for joining me today on this podcast. For our audience, you can find this blog on our website at aoeteam.com. We also have other valuable resources on our digital university website at aoedigitaluniversity.com. Thanks, Laura and Kimberly, both for joining me today. Thanks, Janice. Thanks, Laura. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope this session provides value, and we hope you will join us for our next podcast.